so good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Niao Niao Zhang. I'm a PhD student in the laboratory of KITS, University of Lyon, France. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about uh, my current research about extension of ultrasound free SLS imaging theory to sectorial acquisition, uh, which is one of the ultra fast ultrasound imaging methods. And the concept of ultra-fast ultrasound imaging is based on the emission of uh, plant leaves or diverting leaves. And this technique allows to reach a very high frame rate. And the state-of-the-art techniques could be classified into two groups, uh, linear acquisition, uh, which means using plant leaves in emission and uh, reconstruct a linear image. And there are the methods proposed by Lu, uh, Montado, Garcia, and Bernard. And the last one is the uh, ultra-fast uh, ultrasound free SLS meeting that we proposed uh, uh, last year. Uh, and the sectorial acquisition, there are the methods proposed by Haskawa and uh, Papadachi. And among all these methods, the, uh, the blue one uh, the blue one works in the spatial domain, and the red one works in the free domain. And uh, we try to extend our method uh, for sectorial acquisition, uh, which will be the first time of uh, uh, diverging wave emitting in free domain. Uh, our contribution here is the extension of ultrasound free SLIC meeting technique. Uh, before doing the uh, extension, I would like to uh, introduce the theory of ultrasound free SLIC meeting. And first, you emit a plan V like this, and then you receive all the uh, backscattered echoes. And then uh, you apply delays in reception to receive uh, steered plane waves with uh, angle C and do the assumption of the corresponding signals on each uh, element. And then do the 1D Fourier transform of this signal. And we, uh, it has been proved in the paper by Nakh et al. Uh, that the 1D Fourier transform of this uh, signal is corresponding a radio line of the uh, uh, object uh, spectrum. Then by changing the, sorry. No, why? Oh yeah. Uh, then by changing the, uh, Angles you applied in reception, you could fully sample the object spectrum. And then uh, finally, you do the 2D inverse Fourier transform, you could get the final image. And this figure shows the uh, uh, influence of the maximum C we applied in reception on the image quality. We could see that after you fully sample the uh, object spectrum, the image quality will not change. And the uh, ob objective is to uh, express the problem of diverging wave emitting in an equivalent uh, for, uh, formalism as four plane wave emitting. That means uh, sorry, uh, uh, a medium in a Cartesian space could be uh, insonified. Uh, by a diverging wave could be considered as a medium in a modified space that with a plane wave in sonification. Since the only difference, uh, we take one uh, scatter as an example, since the only difference of the received raw data with diverging wave in sonification and the plane wave in sonification is that uh, the, the Scatterer is active at different time. 
So we start uh, from the traveling time equation. And T here is the uh, tra uh, transmitted wave to reach, it's, it's the time of the transmitted wave to reach the scatterer. And TR is the reflected equals to reach a specific uh, traducer element. And these two equations are corresponding to the uh, uh, ti uh, traveling time equation of, for the diverging wave in sonification and uh, uh, plane wave in sonification. Then we use the Taylor expression of these two uh, equations. And we set the zeros and the first order derivative of these two equations equal and at uh, x equals zero, which means in the middle of the probe. And we could get the space transformation from the uh, Cartesian space to modified space and the, uh, from modified space to uh, Cartesian space. And then we summarize the um, sectoral acquisition scheme. That means you could emit one diverging wave to insonify the uh, medium and receive the uh, reflected equals on each element. And then you could apply the ultrasound free slice emitting directly on the received row data. And the reconstructed image is in a modified space. And you could see that here the, uh, it will be have a distortion of the image. And then you need to do the space transformation uh, that we derived uh, in the last page to get the image in the Cartesian space. Uh, here I will show some results. We, we did the nu numerical simulations and the experiments to uh, prove our methods. And so the, uh, the numerical simulations is based on field two software and uh, we use it to prove the algorithm and measure the contrast to noisy ratio. And also uh, the experiments is applied in, uh, using Wehasonic's uh, uh, system with a fixed array and in a C frontal. And both using the same proper settings with 64 traducer elements and uh, 2.5 megahertz central frequency and 10 megahertz sampling frequency with pitch is 0.32 millimeters. Uh, first, the uh, proof of concept. Here we use a numerical phantom with point scatterers uh, to do the simulation. And here is the receive the raw data from one diverging wave. And then we apply our algorithm on this raw data, we could get the image in the modified space. And then do the space transformation could recover the image in the Cartesian space. And the scatter we uh, recovered here in this image is exactly the same position as in the phantom and the contrast uh, to noisy ratio. Here we measure the CNR using a two, uh, two by two centimeters uh, phantom with one centimeter occlusion, uh, which means it's uh, uh, empty inside. And we measure the CNR for different depths and the different lateral positions. And at each position, we use 50 phantoms to measure the mean and the standard deviation of the CNR. And this is one example of the reconstructed image using one diverging wave. And we could see that uh, we compared our method with the method of uh, Papadachi and uh, uh, we could see that the CNR decreased with the depth and also with the lateral position. And we could get the, almost the same result as the method of Papadachi and phantom experiments.
uh, we use the seek phantom, and this is the insonified field of view, and this is the reconstructed image using our method and the method Papatati. We could see that we could get a similar image quality as the uh, method of Papatachi. And, and this sh could show the feasibility of uh, our method in real data reconstruction. And uh, we, we could also see that there, there needs some improvement to, image, uh, to e improve the image quality. And conclusion and the perspective. Uh, in this work, we do the extension of ultrasound free slice theory to sectorial acquisition. And then we do the evaluation of both uh, numerical phantoms and the experimental data. And the perspectives is uh, since using one diverging wave, the image quality is not good. And we need to do diverging wave compounding to improve the uh, image quality. Uh, here, this is using one diverging wave, and this one is using 15 diverging wave compounding. We could clearly see that the image quality is, uh, is improved a lot, especially in uh, light depths. And, but, uh, but since we increase the uh, number of uh, diverging wave emission, it will have uh, a loss of the frame rate. And that's all, thank you.